What is up? My name is Marta. Hello. <laughs> that is Ilona. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. How are you guys doing? Welcome to Volos. Welcome to Volos Vibes. Welcome to the vlog. Welcome to our life. Welcome to the most ugliest building in Volos. One. Right there. This building there. No, it is. It is definitely One. because what is in there makes it even more yes. ugly. It is the building of Euphoria. We can go that way, by the way. We're not even going to take the front exit because I think the back exit is even just as worse nah we can have both Ilona doesn't know her way sometimes around here we just came back from the gynecologist we walked all the way from one side of Volos almost to the other side of Volos it is uh, I walked to that 20, side. 28 degrees I have no idea but I'm burning hot it is warm it is warm for Ilona it's warm for me it is warm they're building here working on a very nice building I like that building I could live there I could make that my 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 house and my working space let's put it like that Anyway, long story short, we just came back from gynecologist. No changes yet. He's not coming out yet. Zona saw everything was the same. And now we are going to Euphoria. Because if you're having a baby, of course, you need to register the name. It's warm. See how beautiful this building is? Beautiful. For the ones who are wondering whether you're going to do it Euphoria, well, all that kind of things. It's, it's a tax office and a lot of more things. A lot of paperwork is being done at Euphoria here. <sighs> It's really, it's a beautiful building. It really shows how much Greece has suffered from crisis or how much you don't, just don't care about maintaining things. This is the safety door before you get in, of course. Nice, freshly painted. I don't like to complain people, but it is sometimes so easy to just maintain or clean a little bit. Anyway, we'll see how it's going to be here. <laughs> I'm laughing my ass off, but actually it's very sad, right? Yes. We didn't actually need to come here because we have everything already. We needed to get some Afimi paperwork and uh, people were people people were fighting almost about what's, what was going on. It was insane about like who's first in line and all that stuff, right? It wasn't that way. It was busy though. It was busy, yeah. And what did the guy say again to you? There was an older there was an older man that like started conversation with you. Yeah, and he was like don't you see that she's pregnant? She has priority, she has to go first. And then there were some other people from Canada and they were like, We're also standing here in line. She has her husband here. She can sit and wait and he can wait for her. And no, she's not going to, they were not from Canada. They were, they were from they were Greece. Greeks. They were Greeks. But they had uh, Canadian uh, passports. So I don't know, whatever. Then, it, doesn't uh, matter. it doesn't matter. Anyway, long story short, we survived the Foria. <laughs> I did not mind to wait though. Oh, I did mind to wait because mm -hmm. people start being grumpy and I don't like the energy that's around. Where are we? Why we have to go that way, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm all the way messed up. Had to see, by the way. The trees cut down. Huh? Yeah. So we had a lot of issues in Volos with a with a beetle that was inside the top of the the palm trees, and they had to cut out all the tops out of the palm trees, out of a lot of palm trees. Like in the entire surroundings of Volos, they checked out all the palm trees, and if there was like one palm tree standing here, Who's all the palm trees around that? it were going to be cut down as well. So it's so sad to see. There was a beautiful palm tree in front of that store. They give such an accent to the building. Yeah, I know. Fin Finally, I got rid of this this super, 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 super greasy burrata that I ate. I couldn't even vlog the same moment because I was afraid I would get my camera so so greasy. It was it was nice for Milona to say like, hey, you want to eat something? And then we stopped there for burrata. And what did you have? Uh, I had a small sandwich with uh, turkey and uh, small sandwich. <laughs> Anyway, that was not as greasy as mine. It was so nasty, my entire fingers were sticky, so I couldn't vlog it as well. Anyway, we're walking back to the car right now to go to Chrysula for a second. Tukanis. Hello. I got scared. Hello. Hi. Chrysula <laughs> Zardula is in the back. She doesn't, she's happy that we don't have a million subscribers yet, because if we have a million subscribers, she would go to Volus and like, Yes, Chrysula Zardula. 
So anytime when you see her, when you recognize Prisula or you, or you come to this pharmacy, famous. Yeah. yeah. Let's let's call Dardula. Prisula Dardula. Only Dardula. Only Dardula. Dardula. The yeah. most only yeah. famous pharmacist <laughs> of all us. Yeah, eh? Lorian de Femmes. Dardula Pharmacia. I'm sorry, Dardula Pharmacia. Sorry, Chrisula then. Okay. It's all fun and jokes, of course, but yeah, they have a pharmacy and the actually name is uh, Chrisula Dardula. So when you're living near to near, near something or just in Volos, just check them out. They're very nice people also. And when you walk in, just say, Yasu Chrisula Dardula. She will laugh her ass off, I'm sure, right? <laughs> We're gonna go back home. <laughs> back home. I have to get used to like regular vlogging, just grabbing the camera when we get back home and everything. I didn't do that for a couple of days. You might not have noticed that, but probably actually you did. We did for a second a little bit of groceries and that also means that the other day I threw away one of the boxes for Durak. He only has that box right now. There was a box underneath it and I didn't throw away that box yet. I said I was going to, but we got a new box for a second from Ikea, from Lidl. Ikea, Lidl. It's almost... We started this morning this vlog at 10 o'clock by the way people, that's when I went to Ilona. It's insane, like we've been outside from 10 o'clock all day long, busy walking all the time, until we went to Grisula, that's what we did by car, but we've been doing everything on foot. Yes, good job, good job Ilona, yes, yes. Because Ilona needs to walk. Yes. A lot. Because she has to come out. And we walked for definitely 10 kilometers today. Didn't we? Yeah, we knocked off 10 kilometers today. I don't think so. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Whatever, we walked far. What I was trying to say with this box though is that usually when we get a new box and the cat's here and he finds out that oh, he has poop on his butt. Again? He exited though like he had poop on his butt. It's okay, dude. It's okay. Nothing in your butt? Nothing in your butt, no. Durak, look! A new box! Dude, it's a new box, come on. Good boy. <laughs> he always does that. When you put a box on the floor, Durak goes in it and sits. You like it? I guess so. It's dark. Let's eat. Lilona made some pasta. Yes. Nice pasta style. with chicken and uh, chicken, tomato sauce, uh, not sauce, tomatoes and tomato onion. sauce because your mom made the tomato sauce. She boiled tomatoes and she we made tomato sauce. Just boiled tomatoes, nothing else. So inside. it's tomato no sauce. Okay. okay. And some chicken and onions and Curry, nice and tasty stuff. Peppers. But meanwhile, we are going to watch $139 plane seat versus a 24,000 plane seat. There are these YouTubers, and I think they're actually from BuzzFeed. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, but they, they uh, pretty much BuzzFeed is a lot of garbage what they show, but we like to watch this because it is showing sometimes like very nice uh, foods also for like a dollar. Very tasty. Compared to like $300 meals and then you're like, yeah, but I, maybe I would still prefer the $1 meal, you know? Maybe we're simple people, but I prefer to be a simple person. What a simple... I prefer to be myself. I prefer to eat this food right now. Yes, please. Yes. I'm very hungry and then I'm going to close my eyes for half an hour. Right? <laughs> Two hours later, uh, we woke up. Ilona is now in the bathroom for a second, but she, I, I laid down like this and I just fell asleep for, for way too long, way too much time. Just like the cat also, he's completely chilling again. Completely, completely chilling though. Yes. And uh, that means that we're gonna turn on the, some trap nation at this moment though. We're gonna clean up the house, put the carpet back. Let's go. <laughs>
half pa <laughs> half past eleven. We're done, or at least done. Not completely. Ilona mopped the entire floor. I vacuumed the entire floor, but the house, except for the table on the couch, is all the way done. And carpet, of course, on the floor. But the floor needs to dry up a little bit first, so we're gonna do that in a second. But I believe that you're gonna have a shower first. No, we'll put the carpet and then I'll have a shower. Okay, but we need to wait for the floor to be completely dry. Yeah. I'm so excited to have the carpet back. Yes. That was cleaned three weeks ago. Oh. <laughs> Let's start with putting the curtains back in place again. Oh, stuff is falling back here. Almost dropped the jar. These are the smelly sticks from Ikea. And after three years? I, get th I think three years ago yeah, we bought them. Three. They still smell. Not much, but if you like stick your nose in it, then they smell. Durak, do you like the new clean house? Yes, you do not fit that well behind the couch anymore because I moved the couch. Yes, exactly. I moved the couch a little bit back. But because he hides behind there, uh, he likes to uh, also lose all his hair behind there. Durak, you're standing kind of in the way. <laughs> So the entire back of the couch was so nasty, and now it's super clean. Yeah. Oh, he's See, working on it. Of course, first time he was like, eh. yeah, because it was always sticky in the beginning. Mm -hmm. Off. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. Off. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, all sticky, sticky yiggy. One, two, three. No, wait. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Wow, wow. This spot here always was there because I usually sat here. So yes, S even sitting with your butt on a carpet can definitely make it a little bit of a spot, but it's not, it's not that visible at least, right? And on that note, welcome to our living room again. Like it. If you like the vlog, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below because we love to read and we always reply. We thank you for watching. We hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.